Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're here with the uh, Toby Gaze, which is a new eye tracking uh, software and hardware solution, which is being demonstrated at CES 2013. There's a dev kit available for about $1,000. Later this year, uh, they're hoping to make a commercial product. And basically, it has a little sensor at the top of the screen, which is able to track uh, your eye movements and um, allow you to select things on the screen and sort of interact without necessarily uh, using your uh, keyboard and mouse entirely, although it really is designed to work with a keyboard. So for instance, you can see here we have a little blue button that's set up to be a select button. So what I'm going to do here, and this is a little bit tricky because I'm holding a camera and trying to look at this device at the same time, I'm looking at the weather icon. I'm not using a mouse at all, although I just moved it out of the way. Uh, so I'm looking at weather. I'm going to hit the blue button and it should launch the weather application. Let's go back to the home screen. This time I'm going to launch um, the calculator application. I'm just looking at it, hitting the blue button, and the calculator launches. So you can see that you can sort of select when you're doing these things. Uh, this time let's go to Internet Explorer. And I'm going to hold down a different button, which is going to track my eye movements as I'm reading. So basically as I move down towards the bottom of the screen, it realizes I'm moving down and it scrolls for me. If I want to move back up, all I have to do is start looking back towards the top of the screen. And if I release the red button, nothing happens at all. So it's a way of, um, you know, you don't have to worry that you're going to glance off to the side and suddenly close your application. You do have to hold something down on the keyboard while you're doing it. Eventually, this sort of technology is going to be uh, great for accessibility and whatnot, so that you, it'll, uh, it'll allow people who don't have use of their hands at all to be able to interact with the computer using just their eyes. Um, but in this particular situation, it's really meant for a commercial sort of uh, application where it works in conjunction with other input types. So you can use it with a keyboard, you can use it with a mouse. Um, Let's see if we can find another app here. Um, yeah, here we go. So we're going to the Maps application this time. And this time, um, I'm not sure, I know this worked in the product demo. Let's see if I can get it to work here. So this time, I, I'm using the mouse, but I'm just using the scroll button and not actually moving my fingers. And the idea is that you can look at a point on the screen, and as you zoom in, it'll zoom in to exactly where it is you're looking. Uh, if I decide I want, instead of looking at Bogota, I want to look at Louisiana, I'm doing that now. And it went a little bit off, but I was trying to look at Louisiana. Okay, so it's not perfect in that sense, but it definitely moved across. I'm looking at Miami now, and it moves to close to Miami. We didn't quite make it. So uh, overall, it's eye tracking software, allows you to interact with a computer using your eye movements and then using the keyboard or mouse to select, scroll, zoom, and so forth. Uh, pretty neat demo. At $9.95 for the dev kit, it's clearly not going to be for everybody, and the final pricing for the retail product has yet to be set. This is Brad Linder with Lilith.